All right, Shalom, Yasha'ala. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rokakadash, that honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity. May blessings fall upon the houses of the one third. And this is just a quick commentary on this devil and his comment board. Okay? Um, and if you listen to this guy speak, you know, it's just the mind. Of an Edomite, you know, in a way how their wicked mind thinks. Because he's complaining about the nations around the world and the people. He's he's saying that we are trying to use white people, which you are and they are not white, you are the Edomites. He's saying that the world is blaming white people uh for the problems that are around the world, you know. And that we are jealous because that they're on top, you know, and all types of madness that he, this guy was saying. If you want to watch the video and see this eat of my insane thoughts, you know, you can uh, uh, click on the video. It's only nine minutes long. So uh, if you don't know how mind of an eat of my works, I would suggest you click on this video and watch it. You know, I don't want to go all into that for the lack of my time uh, at the moment, but. Let's go down here to the common board and see how the mind of Edomites, how they generally think about the other nations, man. And mainly you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Israelites, okay? Because that's uh, who these people are really butting heads with, the Israelites, you see? The Israelites, uh, which... Uh, our forefather is Jacob, and our forefather is Esau, you know. And we've been button heads since the womb. Okay? <clears throat> so let's go into quick comments. It says, a praetorian, it says, The non-white world demands of the white man lay down, for we cannot bear to stand in your shadow. Um, see, I'm enjoying these thought bites. Keep it up, please. Uh, uh, what's that, Carrie Bajork? We must call out anti-white rhetoric each and every time we see it or hear it. Soon our brothers and sisters will join us. Um, it's all right to be white, bright. It's all right to be white, bright, and right. Good luck insulting me. I have a doctorate in it. Uh, here we go. Orion XTZ it says, Because of jealousy of, of all what whites have achieved, the greatest civilizations ever, from Greek and Roman to modern civilization in a collective West, most inventions from printing press to computers and everything in between. Even the first man and woman in space and on the moon were white. That jealousy, jealousy leads to anger, hate, ultimately genocide, whites, arm, and beware. So just dealing with this comment alone, you know, these are minds of how Edomites actually think, Okay. And they're trying to say that the world is jealous because, you know, uh, they have the greatest civilization. You know what? I will admit, y'all do have the greatest civil, civil, civilization and complete wickedness. Y'all do. Okay? And then when he goes on and says uh, the most inventions were created by whites. No, they weren't. The inventions were created by Israelites, okay? Which were stolen from your people and your people patented. Your people put their name on it. Okay? But see, this is what Edomites do. You see? And you take everything uh, that's someone else's and then you say it's yours. Right? And when people want a piece of what they have contributed contributed to the earth, you say, no. No, this is mine. Okay? I worked hard for this. Meanwhile, uh, someone else did and you just stole it and you took it over. You see? Hey, and this is another reason why, you know, these nations are, are mad. Mad as well, too, because you go over into their homelands, you know, you destroy their, their their people's ancient ways of thinking, and you bring your own goddamn philosophies and democracy and religions over there, and you destroy the people, man. Hey, and the nations, what? They are mad. Okay? But, you know, as going back into when you read these comments, it says, because of jealousy of all the whites have achieved, man. You see? So, uh, you know, going into the mind, and there's, there's way more. If you go to more, you'll see... How the mind of an Edomite actually thinks, man. Okay? 
And then these Edomites actually rationalize in their mind and justify how they have gotten these things, man. Okay? And they have gotten these things by the sword, man, which were their blessing. And if any of you Jakes, right, you, you read this common board and you still trust in an Edomite, you're a fool, man. Okay? Because these how these Edomites think about you. And this is why the scriptures say this. is the book of Ecclesiasticus. Um, let me see. 12 verse 10 it says, Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. You see? And, and you might wipe the might wipe you know, uh, the rust off of iron, you know, it may look all nice and clean, but over a period of time, that rust comes back. And this is the same as this devil. Okay? The same as this devil. They might portray themselves as, as you know, as good people and, and, you know, loving and caring. That's what they portray. But really, man, you know, in their heart, in their mind, it's complete wickedness, man. Thinking of ways of how they can overthrow you. Or keep their foot on your neck. You see? Because when these these Edomites feel threatened when some when people are better than them. Okay? So that's why they won't let their foot up. And you know they, they like to mention, yeah, people are hating around the world because we are great people. Yeah, y'all, y'all are great. You know? Y'all are great in complete wickedness. You know, and that, and that guy mentioned, uh, you know, with the Greeks and the Romans, that's good. You you linked yourself with the Greeks and Romans because we know uh, you Edomites are the uh, Greeks and the Romans. OK, not the original. You weren't the original Greeks, but you went over there. You know, you ran the Japhetic nations out uh, the that land. Right. And then you took that land and took that name upon yourselves. You see, so that's how you end up becoming the Greeks, starting with who? Alexander. Uh, let's go to the book of 1 Maccabees 1 verse 1. It says, And it happened after the Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Chittim, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians, and the Medes, that he reigned in his stead, the first over Greece, and made many wars, and won many strongholds, and slew the kings of the earth, and went through the ends of the earth, and took spoils of many nations, and so much that the earth was quiet before him, whereupon he was exalted, and his heart was lifted up. And he gathered a mighty strong host and ruled over countries and nations and kings who became tributaries unto him. Um, and after these things, he fell sick and perceived that he should die. I want to go straight to the point. It says, uh, uh, here we go. And the servants bear rule everyone in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years, right? His, his four generals and evils. Were multiplied in the earth. You see? So when the Greeks came in power, what does it say? Evils multiply in the earth, man. And you Greek and you you Edomites, y'all are continu continuously admitting on a common board that you're, hey, did y'all were the Greeks and y'all were the Romans. Okay? So hey, you're admitting to yourselves that y'all are the fourth beast. Okay? The fourth beast will be ruling the world at the moment. And who is that? Esau Edom. You so-called white people. You Edomites. Okay? So do you not know not know that a hey, y'all are about to take a heavy fall, okay? Y'all 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 doing the greatest in weakness, but y'all about to take the greatest fall in history as well, okay? Especially when the Lord Yahweh Shai, the Lord uh, the Heavenly Father Yahweh sent His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai come back, okay? So I just wanted to get that you know because uh, they mentioned about them being Greece. Uh, in the Romans, but hey, what does it say about the, the Greeks? Hey, that when y'all rule, that multiplies of evil, uh, all multiplies of evil, evil came on the earth, man. Okay, so y'all want to talk about y'all being so great? Yeah, y'all were great in complete wickedness, and y'all was great in the de destroying the earth and destroying the people of the earth. Okay, let's go to the book of uh, Habakkuk 2. Verse 4. Um, turn this way. It says, Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Right? So the soul and the spirit of Esau and Edom is not upright in him, man. All right? There's nothing wholesome. There's nothing peaceful you know, about this dude, man. Because he is the complete devil, man. 
he is the opposite of righteousness. You see? Because what? He is the wicked. It says, yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. And no one's prouder than a damn Edomite, man. You know? No one's prouder than the Edomite. It says, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth desire is hell, and is deaf and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations that heap unto him all people. You see that? See? So he's a proud man, man. Okay, he don't keep it at home. Yeah, that's why he's running around the whole earth, you know, destroying things, taking over lands, taking nations, and completely destroying it. Okay? Everything has been destroyed under the hand of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You see? <clears throat> It says, verse 6, shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long unto him that leadeth himself with thick clay. You see? And that's what these nations are saying, man. How long is devil going to keep uh, increasing these things of that which is not his, man? You know? These lands don't belong to him. These 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 uh, different resources that he's taking from our land don't belong to him. How long is he going to continue to do this, man? You see, and the nations are tired, and the nations are sick of it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get this last one. You know, because I just wanted to really do a commentary and touch on a comment board and go into the mind of an Edomite. You know? It's the book of Psalm 73. And this is how all you damn Edomites think. All right? It says, uh, verse 6, is says, Therefore pride compasses them about as a chain, balance, cover of them as a garment, man, right? And these Edomites, Edomites are fucking prideful, man, okay? Hey, as the scripture says, the pride of thy heart have deceived thee, right? Hey, and violence covered them as a garment, man, because that's all they know is violence, man. Violence is in their nature, okay? Hey, these devils don't sleep at night unless they do violence, you know? These devils don't sleep at night unless they do do any violence, <clears throat> Okay. Uh, verse 7 says And their eyes stand out with fatness They have more than their heart can wish for Right Because they stole everything They have ev more than what they need Hold on Slock y'all Hold on Okay See y'all Bye guys Bye right now You're welcome Oh yeah, so uh, slop your yeah, hockey on. Uh, but yeah, like man, these devils have more than their heart can wish for, man. You know, they have everything they need, but they still going around the earth policing things and taking uh, that which is not theirs, man. You know. Um, verse eight it says they are corrupt. See, you Edomites are corrupt, man. Y'all are a corrupt pe people, a corrupt nation, and your minds are corrupt. Okay. Just to think that everything you have done, uh, you can try to justify yourselves for it. You're crazy, man. Just like he said, uh, he said, yeah, all the things that we've done around the earth, you know, uh, all the things that we've done around the earth, the capitalism, the, the, the slavery, all these different things. He was saying something like that in effect, you know, but look at all the amazing, great things that we have done. We have done more amazing things than done uh, bad things. Get the hell out of here, devil. Are you crazy? You see, you out of your rabbit ass mind. All the amazing things that you done outweigh the bad. Oh, you, oh, yeah, all right. Okay. You see, but you see how they rationalize and, and think in their minds that they have done uh, more good than evil? These guys are crazy, man. These Edomites are complete insane, man. Um, verse 8, so it says, They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily, man. And when it comes to oppressing, you know, the, the people of the world, and, and mainly what I'm speaking about, my our people, my people, the Israelites. When it comes to oppression, and they they speak loftily, man. You know, oh, uh, you know what? It wasn't nothing. You know, it wasn't no thing that we killed uh, uh, billions uh, of you uh, uh, or millions uh, of the North American Indians, the Gadites, and the Reubenites. A similar one then when we came to the Americas. Hey, even our brothers that was uh, uh, of the other Latin speaking tribes, you know, like Ephraim, all of them that was on the other uh, islands, 
okay? Like Ishikarnam in Central America. No, it's nothing that we killed millions of them. It's nothing that we killed millions of the Negroes with the transatlantic slave trade. You know, just people coming over here on ships alone, being tossed in the river, or being tossed in the ocean because they died, you know, on a slave ship, ships. You know, that was nothing, okay? We, hey, at least we brought them over here and we gave them, uh, we civilized them. See, that's how these devils think, okay? That's exactly how these devils think, you know? So it says, uh, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily, right? They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth, man. And it's how this devil is, man, okay? This is just how they roll. Hey, but guess what? These are traits uh, of an Edomite. And guess what? They are showing it and expressing it on the comic boards. So when we say this, the so-called white man, the Edomite, man, woman, and child is the devil, they, they are the devil, man. Okay? They are they are Satan. They are the adversary, the imposer of the Most High and his people. You see? Hey, they, they, are, uh, uh, they are a walking... Hey, they are a walking... Uh, they're a walking, uh, they are walking death, man. Literally. Literally. Because everything that Esau puts his hands on, everything that Esau touches, you know, is death. Everything. You see? <clears throat> but, you know, I don't want to, you know, keep rambling on, you know. Just wanted to do a little commentary and touch on, you know, the mind of an Edomite, man. These devils. Okay, and we can read we read in the scriptures, you know, the traits of an Edomite. You see? As they present themselves with their wicked, uh, uh wicked thoughts, you know, their their wicked ra uh rationalization and justification on a comma board concerning oppression. You see? Concerning usury and thief uh, thievery that they have done, you know. Which you devils in you barely contributed anything to the earth, man. You know? And, and like the brothers were saying, everything that you got, you got it from the Yah Bashim Yamashah, man. Okay? You ain't get this on yourself, devil. You got it from the Lord, man. And ultimately the greatest <clears throat> the thing that the Lord uh let you create, right? Was the nuclear missiles. Ultimately so you can destroy your own self, man. And so the nations and so the nat nations can destroy you. You see? Hey, so you devils, man, hey, the Lord's going to get the laugh last, last, last laugh, you know? You can laugh now, but you'll be crying later, you see? Just like this, old bag. I think IQ has a lot to do with it, Stefan. IQ? That, that was made up, okay? The devil's just been, been, been being exposed on that, you see? The left operates on crab mentality. No, y'all the crabs, man, you see? But guess what? As you can see, this is how Edomites think. And these are your everyday average mon lawn, mon lawn, sloppy lawn, mowing Edomites. That's waving to you, right? Um, this is Susie and Billy uh, at your jobs, making coffee, talking about they want to take care of lunch. Hey, these are these average Edomites that you see, okay? These are these same average Edomites that you see. So don't get fooled. By the smiles and the wiles of this devil, man. Okay? This is how they truly think about you Israelites. <clears throat> um, when we get this in our close out, it says, be master of yourself. It says, and that's why the white race is continuing to be attacked. Not because it was evil. See? They don't think the things that they were done were evil. It says, but because the achievements cannot be matched, let alone exceeded, and therefore a statue must be cast down. So... And this is what he said. So um, I'm going to do another lesson on this through the spirit. And, and I'm going to show you all the inventions that the Israelites have made. You know, some that was patent, some that weren't, but were stolen. Okay. And to show you that everything that you see and that people use on their daily life, we created that. But we don't get no, we don't get no recognition for creating everything that people use in their daily lives. Not the traffic light. Not the steth stethoscope, not the internet, not computers, not Wi-Fi, not none of that. You see? What these devils say, what do we contribute to the earth? We contribute everything that you fucking use. You see? But I'm going to say that for the next lesson with that. Hey, shalom.